Hey guys, it's Caress the Stylist. Welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a tapered natural haircut with clip-ins. This Milky Way hair comes with four small bundles of hair, but I only used one bundle. I will be making the clip in smaller with just two wig clips, leaving a small space in the middle. I will be using the two holes on the ends of the clips to sew the hair to the clip. After pulling the thread through the eye of the needle, I will tie a small knot at the end of the thread. Now I will begin with the first hole on the wig clip and just go through the hair and tie a knot. If there is excess thread hanging off you can always cut it later. And now I will begin to go through the second hole on the first wig clip and go through the weft of the hair. I will do just as I did with the first hole and tie a knot. After each knot is tied, you do want to make sure that you pull the thread a little tight so that there are no gaps or loose thread in the clip-ins. After threading the clip-ins, I will tie two knots just to make sure the thread does not unravel at the end of the clip-in. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when I separate the curls on one of the clips. The hair does become really full and this is exactly what we want to achieve when we put the clip-ins in our hair. And of course, this is a clip-in where the hair has not been separated. When putting the clip-ins in your hair, all you need to do is open the clips and close them onto your hair. They should securely stay in your hair if your hair is thicker or coarser. If your hair is looser or you have a um, looser curl pattern or a wavy type hair and you don't think the clip-ins will stay, you can always add a small braid and then clip the clip-ins to the braid to secure the clip-in. 
After placing the clip-ins in the desired spots of my hair, I will now separate the curls just to make the hair look fuller so that I have a fuller cut. I really love the curl pattern in this Q Milky Way hair because this is the closest to my natural curl pattern which is a 4C curl. I will now use my curl sponge to sponge the back and sides of my hair so that my natural curls blend in with the curls from the clip-ins. And now the cut, my favorite part. So what I'll be doing is just adding shape by cutting it into a tapered cut shape. I do this cut like 30 times a day on many of my clients. Not 30, but I'm exaggerating, but hey. But um, yes, if you need help with this part, I would definitely go to a professional. If you're in Houston, come and see me and I can help you out. It's definitely one of those things where you have to play with the curls and kind of cut here and there and just add shape where you want shape, add layers where you want layers. I like a lot of fullness in the top, middle, I don't like it to be too long because if the hair is too long in the middle and in the top, in the front, it will be a little heavy and you won't have as much shape. So I like to cut layers in the middle just to give it a little bit more fullness. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your views. Bye.